Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are here at Old Goa at this UNESCO World Heritage Site. Uh, we, have, we are just visiting the, the oldest church, one of the oldest churches in Goa. Um, it's called Our Lady of the Rosary Church or A Igreja da Nossa Senhora do Rosario. So this is located in Old Goa and we have come here in the evening um, so you won't find many people here there are no tourists at the moment and also um, you know we'll take you and show you around the church you know it's it's really beautiful so to give you a little history uh, the portuguese conquest of goa started when afonso de albuquerque who was the governor general of the portuguese and also was known as the founder of uh, portuguese goa captured Goa in 1510 from the Adilshahs. This was a great victory for the Portuguese because Goa became the capital of the Portuguese state of India. So on this very spot, Afonso de Albuquerque received confirmation from his soldiers that the Portuguese conquest of Goa had been completed. So this was great victory for the Portuguese and it was really good news for Afonso de Albuquerque because if it was not for this battle, the Portuguese wouldn't be here and the Adil Shahs would be ruling Goa today. So it was at this very place where Afonso de Albuquerque received the news about this victory and he ordered his men to build a beautiful chapel in honor of Our Lady of the Rosary. So Antao Nugaira Gibrito, who was the master builder at that time, designed this small chapel and uh, this place where we are right now is also called the Monchi Santo, which means the holy mountain or the holy hill in Portuguese. This church is considered one of the oldest churches in Portuguese Goa and it was built between 1544 to 1547. So after many years, many Goan Catholics started living in Monchi Santo and the Portuguese rulers saw this and decided that these people needed a parish of their own. So later on, this chapel was, was elevated to a church and it was called the Church of Our Lady of the Rosary. So talking about the uh, architecture of this church, if you look at the facade, all right, it has three floors. All right, and if you look at the, 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 the window in the front, it, it gives you an impression of a fortress church, you know. And also this church is in a shape of a crucifix. So many churches in Goa have this um, have this crucifix kind of a plan, you know, where the church is in a shape of a cross. Another interesting thing about this particular church is uh, it has these cylindrical buttresses which stick out, you know, which support the church. So uh, this is pretty unique, you know, especially in this church. So this church has two chapels, one main altar and two side altars. So if you look at the arches, the arches are really huge and thick. And also if you look on top at the ceiling, you see that it has a lot of Gothic influence because during the Middle Ages in Europe, most of the churches were built in the Gothic architecture. So this has a lot of influence of the Gothic in it. Of course, it's not pure Gothic, but it does have a lot of Gothic architecture there. Now looking, look at the, the view over here, you know, the view is really spectacular. Looking at this church from afar, it looks like a, a fort, actually. It's like a fortress. That's why, that's why it's also known as a fortress church. So in the year 1986, this church, Our Lady of the Rosary, was declared as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. And in addition, this church is also taken care by uh, the Archaeological Survey of India. So that's all I have for you guys today. Hope you like this video. And do not forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Do check out the other videos and I promise to make more content for you like this. Stay tuned for the next one.